Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. And today we're taking a look at the application has failed to start because it's side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect. Very common error message that is found from the smallest games to Microsoft Office. There is no rhyme or reason except you don't have the proper Visual Basic runtime files. Visual Basic is a programming language and if you're running something written it you have to have the right version. There's a whole ton of them. It's confusing as heck. Um, our video is going to go a little longer than usual because it took us four or five hours of work to get to what you're seeing now to wrap it up in 10 minutes for you. First thing we want to do is figure out how, what, where, why you don't have the right one. It's not that tough. Let's verify a registry problem first. I'll leave this here so you can see it without having to hit pause constantly. And you want to press your Windows key plus R and go ahead and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, and hit OK. Once you're there, I've already been playing around, so I'm expanded. I'm assuming you've played with registry before. If not, you want to go to H key local machine right here, and you want to expand these arrows. Keep going down. Software, expand the arrow. Microsoft, Windows, current version, side by side, winners. Now, if you don't have the winners key, this is not your problem. So you probably actually need to move forward and install the proper pack. Keep going down until you find, and this is a little bit confusing, but we'll explain it to you. Uh, where'd she go? Right there. So as you can see here, x86 policy, well, as you can see, you have all these x86 policies. What you're looking for in this case is to confirm the 9.0 and the CRT. If you look here, one, two, eight, nine, oh, no CRT, nine, oh, CRT, see that? Forget everything else. That's how you spot this key. When you get there, go to the 9.0, and what you're looking for is right over here is your current default version. Now, there's a lot of different things you can do with this, but for this example, we want to make sure that the highest number over here, you could have a dozen of these here. Whichever number is the highest needs to match that. If it does not, what we can do is let's say this said 9199 we're gonna right click and hit modify we're going to copy the value name close it out with cancel then we're gonna come up here to your default again we're just pretending this is actually 99 modify again and what we would want to do is delete all of that and change the value data to again we're pretending it's 99 to whatever matches the highest number. So when you get done, if these two numbers do not match highest number and default, they should now. A, re a reboot might be required. See if that fix your problem. Odds are if these numbers don't match, you're out of here. Good to go. Now, if your numbers did match, we need to figure out what we're gonna do with our visual C++ runtimes. Do you have them installed? Let's take a look at Windows key, oops, S, let's go right to programs just to see what we got, whoops. Programs and features, for example, I do have them. So, but do I have the right one? So we'll minimize this till later. You can install the latest here, which might just fix your problem. If not, we have a link here to a third party guy who's put them all together. As you can see, you just hit download at Major Geeks, the file will download within a few seconds and go. If you're not sure about it, not only are there instructions in the review here, there's another video here to be found for you to get walked through it. Okay, so you can do either one of those two. Now, if your problem's still not solved, there is an outside chance that we can figure out exactly which version you want. So let's uh, do the same thing we did before. Let's do your Windows key plus S and start typing in event until you see event viewer. When you do, give it a minute or two. I'm a clean install, so it's usually pretty fast to read my data. Depending on how many errors, how long your system's been up, it could take a little while. If you know it froze, because I've seen that happen. See that mouse turning? There it goes. I closed this before I started up and it ran. What we want to do is find out which version you're lacking. This will help you. Expand your error under summary of administrative events and look for side by side. Now, it should be mentioned, if you haven't done this already, you might want to close it. I should have mentioned it earlier. Make sure you've 
created that error by going ahead and making sure it's in the event log recently. The only reason for that is while you're in the event log, as you can see, I want to be able to tell that it was in the last hour and I've got the right error. Okay, so double click on that side by side. And you see I've gotten that error because as I said, we've been playing this for a while now. Heck, I even got it a long time ago. All right. We're just looking for a couple of numbers here, particularly probably right here. And what you want to do is just take the first number, 9.0, 11.0, 12.0. This error is very, very common with 9. That's why you keep seeing the recurring theme of 9.0. That's all you need to get out of this. We don't have to worry about public key, token, please use this for diag. We don't need it. What we do know is we have a 9.0 Microsoft Visual C++ problem. So let's close, minimize that for now just in case. And I've already gone over here and typed into the browser. Visual C++ redistributable. Something along that lines will bring you to supportmicrosoft.com. So once again, remembering what we're looking for is 9.0. So what is a 9.0? 9.0 is not studio. It's not 2015. There's 12. Even though it's 2013, it's version 12. 2012 is version 11. 2010 is version 10. And of course, 2008 is your version 9.0. Download that right there. Or we believe, yep, we provide you a link right here. So if that is your problem, it's well explained here, just like I'm explaining it to you. Give you the option of watching the video or go step by step. And there it is on the Major Geeks page so that you can download. Now here's a trick. You need the 32-bit and you need the 64-bit. You don't just, a lot of people are telling you, get this, get that. If you're 32-bit, get three. No, install them both, play it safe. So you can click your middle mouse for the tab, and then click that one. You can download them both simultaneously. Now in this particular version, the Major Geek mirrors already contain both of them zipped up. So once they're done, you can run them. Now, Another thing to consider, I'm debating on this one, and that would be whether or not you want to uninstall them. That's a tough call. Typically, if you have the 2008 installed, and you saw earlier when I did Windows S programs and features that I had it, but it's easy enough to just right click and uninstall. And again, you'll notice that I have 32-bit and 64-bit. So if you already have it, why don't you go ahead and uninstall it? Because one of the things is that you could have something corrupt, like the registry problem we tried showing you earlier. If that's corrupt, I'm not, there's no guarantee that reinstalling is going to fix it. But regardless, let's take a look back here. You should be all set to go. I'll tell you what, this Microsoft Edge is a real turd. I mean, God. I also should mention, you should be done now, but for those still hanging in there, other possible solutions we saw were a Google Chrome uninstalling it and reinstalling it. I don't see how that could fix anything, but I guess if you get desperate and you've done all this and that doesn't work, I don't even know if I've seen anybody said it worked, maybe one person, you can't be sure on that. But if the program you're running is tied into Google Chrome, it's remotely possible, it's computers, who knows? Anything's possible, but what is for sure is the side-by-side -side configuration error is without a doubt related to the Visual C++ runtime. So take your way through those steps. If you're not sure, I call this the bull in the china shop method right here, only because, as we showed you this earlier, you're going to save yourself the trouble of checking your register. You're going to save yourself the trouble of going through everything we just showed you. And it's a bull in a china shop. Grab that sucker. It's going to install everything for you. And if that don't fix your problem, we don't know what will. So as always, we thank you for watching, especially since we ran so long on this video. And if you, nobody's left, right? I mean, nine minutes and 30 seconds. But if you made it this far, man, click the subscribe button. I mean, you hung in there. Throw me a bone. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.